Tommy says he's having issues trying to hide a team's address from the gal. I just. <laughs> uh, I used the, the, the GUI to do this. Check the settings using PowerShell to make sure they were applied. The team's address is still showing up in the gal in both offline and global address list. Yeah. yeah. So the, yeah. the teams does not show in webmail. I tested with a regular distribution list and it appeared it disappeared immediately. Mm -hmm. I tested with another team site and the address remains. I am waiting after 24 hours and still no luck. Any ideas? Um, I'd be curious to to find out, you know, what was the command that you that you ran? Um, there's two commands to really take control over what's going to be displayed in your gal and what's going to show up inside of Outlook. So in using the Exchange Online PowerShell, uh, you can hide the email from the gal. Um, you, you, can, uh, you can do it in the GUI, and you can also do it in PowerShell and verify it in, in both, of course. Um, but you want to make sure you're doing that with uh, setting the unified group um, and, and having the identity, which is the name of the group, along with hidden from address list enabled equals true. Right. You want to make sure you verify that, that that's set up correctly. And of course, um, you hide it from the gal may not be all of everything you want to accomplish. You may, may want to remove that group from being displayed in Outlook. For instance, if you're a part of that group, you're going to see it on the left hand side in, in Outlook. And if you want to hide that as well, uh, it's the same uh, set unified group, the identity of that group uh, and then hidden from exchange clients enabled equals false. Um, and by default, both of those are equal to be displayed. So um, set unified group is really the command shell prompt. Go and take a look at that. Make sure that you have created it uh, exactly uh, the opposite of the default, right? The way that you want. Uh, verify that. I'm guessing within a 24 hour period, it may have just needed something to run longer, but just check your syntax, verify that. Um, and if all uh, is correct, then you should be definitely having that hidden from the gal. I and I, the only thing I would add is that uh, Tommy specifically calls out the offline and global address list um, inherently. Uh, the offline obviously is AKA what? Cached. Uh, okay. So uh, if it's cached, okay, uh, it doesn't necessarily, you know, uh, get its updates uh, unless you actually force it. OK, um, or it goes through the cycle. He said he waited 24 hours, but I've seen the offline list go for a couple of days without being updated um, unless I actually forced it to, uh, depending on what machine it was on and everything else. But anyways, um, there's always that possibility um, that you could be dealing with a cache issue, uh, especially dealing with Outlook, uh, because, uh, you know, both of the gal and the uh, you know, the gal list and the offline, because uh, there's two different areas there. Um, they can both be cached. Great call out, Mike.